gentlemen, boys and girls. This is Miss Brianne, and welcome back to Coding Fun with Miss Brianne. And this is a series where I give you brief introductions and maybe some demonstrations in all the different library coding toys, robots, games, and computer software that we have to offer here at the West Hampton Free Library, as well as within my own personal collection. And I've shown you many different toys. I have shown you the Ozobot. I've had a mini series on Cosmo. I've shown you Botley. I've even shown you some stuff with the Little Bits, which was, I recently acquired a few months ago. Today's video, I am very excited to show you this new GAT device that I recently acquired a little over a week ago. And I play I played with this little device a few times and it is very cool. So without further ado, this here is the micro bit and it's a mini computer and you can do all sorts of cool activities with this little tiny device here. Now before I show you a brief demonstration of what I could, you could do with it, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about it. I'm not going to give you a complete history because in May, when I do some more coding craze activities, coding craze sessions, we're going to be talking about the micro bit and I'll be giving you a detailed history then. So please, if you're interested, please sign up for those future sessions when they occur. But I just want to give you a little bit of background. Now, the micro bit was designed by BBC Learning in order to, the, the plan was to encourage children, was, it was mainly designed for children in hopes to encourage it, them to get involved in computer programming and inventions. And they announced it. On Mar they first announced it on their digital campaign on March 12, 2015. And the final product was unveiled in, on July 6, 2015. And the, the initial plan... Yes, so the initial plan was to So the initial plan was to release the micro bit to schools on September 2015 and in the following month release them to the general public. However, there was a lot of delays, so it didn't get released to the schools until February 10th of 2016 and then it was released to the general public on March 22nd, 2016. And they, uh, then on October 13th, 2020, they just released version 2 of the micro bit. Now I was very lucky, I managed to get a hold of micro bit version 2 which includes built-in sneaker speakers, Bluetooth capability, and a microphone. So with that being said, are we ready to begin? Alright, here we go. So, I have my computer on here, and I've opened up an editor called MakeCode. Now again, I'll, I'll go into full detail in the May session of Coding Craze, but MakeCode is a programming language designed by Microsoft. It, it was designed by Microsoft to use with the micro bits. Now even though MakeCode code is great for micro bit, you can use other programming languages with the micro bits such as Python and etc. But MakeCode is a language, it uses drag and drop blocks similar to Scratch or Code.org or any of those other programming languages. 
So for familiarity purposes, we are going to use make code. So I have make code editor on here. Oh, and if you want more information on the micro bit, so you can click on the following links in web links in the video description. But anyway, here's the make code editor. We're going to click on new pro under my projects. We're going to click on new project, and we're going to name this name badge. Because that's what we're going to be doing with our micro bit today. We're going to be creating a name badge. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we are going to plug it into our computer. So I have this little cable here and we're going to plug the short end on t at the top where, there we go, at the top where the plug is. And then I'm going to plug it into my computer. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to zoom up to the badge. And as you can see, it's scrolling a message already because I programmed something into it. But sadly, I'm going to have to delete it for now. But that's what the micro bit does. It's got a bunch of LED lights on it. So with that being said, we are going to zoom back up to the make code. Now, we have on start and we have forever. Oh, hold on a minute. I'm just going to fix something really quick. We don't need the on start box, so we are going to get rid of that. Now, we got a lot of things. We have we have basic, which has all these different, which shows just basic displays. Oops. Then we have input, which means you have to do, it codes you have to do something in order for your program to be activated. We have music blocks. We have radio blocks, which means signals. More radio blocks. Then we have our loops, our variables which we could create, and math blocks. We're going to stick with our basic blocks for today. So we're going to find, scroll until we find the block show string. So we're going to take one of those. And we're going to attach it to the forever block. Now, as you can see, it says hello. And it's actually, let me move it in a lot. It's actually demonstrating what it will do. However, we're going to change that from hello. And it has to be in quotation marks. That's how it reads. The micro bit will read it. And we are going to write a name. We're going to type in my name. Now I'm doing my first name only. I am not doing my last name. Hold on a minute. There we go. It'll automatically put in quotation marks. Now we're going to go back. Next up, we're going to go back to the basic. And we're going to look for show icon. And it looks like a heart. We are going to take that. Hold on a minute. 
hold on. I'm going to take that block. Sometimes it's hard working with a, there we go, with a, with a keypad. And we're going to click it underneath the show string. Now we're going to keep the image as a heart. And then next up, we're going to go back to basic. We're going to find the pause. We're going to drag our pause block. And this is micro in microseconds, so milliseconds. So it's quicker than a second. Now it says 100. We're going to change that to 2,000. And then finally, we're going to find a clear screen block. And we are going to click on that. Okay. So, this is our whole program for our name badge. Now I'm going to zoom it over for a little bit to show you the demonstration real quick. So that's what it's going to look like. All right. So the next thing we're going to do now that we have our program is we're going to save it. And it automatically downloads into our it automatically downloads into our computer. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to open up my document folder. Oops. I'm going to look for the micro bit folder. So we got the micro bit folder up. Now I'm going to open up another document window. I'm going to find, go to downloads. I'm going to go to micro bit name badge XCX and I'm going to drag it into the micro bit. And now it's downloading the program into our micro bit computer. So let's zoom into our micro bit and see how it worked. Hold on. Oops. Hold on a minute. There we go. All right, so let's see if it worked. Looks like it's working fine, huh? Isn't that cool? And you could create your very own name badge with just a micro bit. Now, if you want to wear this name badge, you're going to need a lanyard, or you can make your own, or figure out something, a creative way to wear this. And you're going to need a battery pack, because once I unplug this from my computer, it's no longer going to work. So to keep it going, you're going to need a battery pack. But in any event, this is our, our introduction to our micro bit. And if you want the full introduction, please join us in May for Coding Craze. But until then, this is Miss Brianne saying take good care of yourselves. Have a great day, and I'll see you soon.